Welcome to uh, Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. I hope you had a fabulous weekend, everybody. So today we are going to um, we I I <laughs> we we me and all the spirits that are here are going to be taking calls and. Um, and answering questions, helping people connect with loved ones on the other side. I will start taking calls in just a second. I want you to know that if I call out your area code, please um, take me off of speakerphone and have a specific question, a very specific question, or connection ready. So if you want a connection, if you want to connect to somebody on the other side, I need their name and their relationship to you. If you have a specific question for that person on the other side, let me know right away. Um, don't say I want to connect with this person and then let me get you a message and say, oh, but this is what I wanted. Give me your question from the get go. There are a lot of people waiting on the call log. I try to make this as efficient as possible. Okay, next, uh, as for questions, and yeah, you know what, I, I would think I wouldn't need to say this every week, but I need to say it every week. As for questions, don't say, tell me about my job. Do you not know about your job? I mean, I don't mean to be snarky here, but you know about your job or you don't. What do you want to know about your job? Am I getting fired? Am I getting a new job? Um, if you want to ask a vague question, that's where you schedule an appointment with me. And we go through taking time and digging through the energy. But on the air, a very specific question. Again, tell me about my relationship is not a specific question. That's more like a, not a specific question. Okay. So now that I have, oh, one last thing. If you snip at me, I will disconnect you. <laughs> yep, apparently I need to say that too. Who snips at somebody giving them a free week reading, right? Like who does that? People, people do that. People snip at me on air. And you know what? I'm just not in a snippy mood this morning. So let's be nice. Let's play nice together this morning. All righty, folks, I'm going to go straight to the call log and take the first caller. Area code 111. How are you today? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. My pleasure. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Okay, I'm calling from Long Island, Long Island and my name is Stacy. Okay, Stacy, how can I help you today? So I just have one quick question for you because mm -hmm. I know you have uh, all the callers on the line. Mm -hmm. So, this is a legal matter coming up. All right, I have to submit some paperwork and I'm trying to decide when should I submit it due to the Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm in Pathic. And I'm just trying to feel out what, uh, what, what, when in October to submit the paperwork, only because I'm picking up around different energies that I don't like. And if I do that for a certain time, I see all of those negative energies disappear. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell so, you. So I wish I never found out about Mercury retrograde, right? Because like it happens, I think, four times a year and it's for three or four weeks long where we're not supposed to sign papers or do contracts or all this stuff. And and they say it, Mercury is, they say, some people say, oh, well, Mercury is spinning backwards. I didn't know a planet could altogether stop and reverse its spin. I want to see where that's written someplace. In, in a science book. Second, um, other people say the planet slows down. I, I didn't know that could happen either. So here's what I'm going to say you live your life. Just live your life. If you were a salesperson and you had to sign contracts every single day um, and then three weeks 
uh, out of out of this quarter, you could not sign contracts, you would not be making money, you would not pay your bills. But more importantly, if this is something you were working on prior to Mercury going retrograde, you don't need to worry. It's something brand new. Like if your phone, one example, and please, people do not take stock in this, okay? We have to live our lives. If your phone broke and you went in to get a new phone, that would be where, where some people might say mercury might affect you because it's more around electronics, supposedly. And please, people, if you do not know about mercury retrograde, do not look it up. Do not buy into this. I wish I never knew about this. So I could just live my life and do things without worrying about it. Um, I feel like as soon as you feel like this paperwork is perfected and you're comfortable with it, that's when you should submit it. Don't necessarily worry about this particular aspect that they talk about. Now, if you have a feeling, I always say, listen to your feeling. If you feel like it will be more successful at this time than this time, go with that feeling. That's your intuition. And you always want to listen to your intuition. However, if you're just basing it on Mercury retrograde, please don't do that. Live your life and move forward. Because while you're not submitting your paperwork, other people who maybe don't know about this, don't care about this, they are submitting theirs, okay? So get ahead of the game, submit okay. your paperwork when it feels right to you, okay? If, if okay. you look through your paperwork and it's on point and you know it's good and it's right, submit it. Now, again, okay. one more thing, I, I just want to repeat this. If it's something you were working on prior to this, you're good. This is for, it, 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 you know, I, I will just say things, the, the universe works on what you believe. So if you believe this is going to affect you, it will affect you. If you do not believe it's going to affect you, it will not. And we have the power over that. If this is something that's destined for you, it is destined for you. Do not let a, a I, don't, I just don't believe a planet can slow down. <laughs> I just don't believe that. Has the earth ever slowed its rotation? <laughs> Has the earth ever, have we all ever just like jolted and, and been like, oh, Shoot, I think the earth just slowed down. All of my body and my furniture and house just jolted. We must have all slowed down a little bit. The earth's rotation. I just, I don't know. I have a really hard time with that. Um, I do, I, I will say since I do know about it, I am a little bit careful about it. But again, I wish I, I would have never ever ever known about that never ever so i could just live my life like and I, i'll say this i when i was like very young i was in sales and i didn't know about it and none of my sales were never affected and i signed like 10 contracts a day and they were never affected at any time of the year from this so please just live live your life and know that you have the ultimate domain over your life N nothing and no one what's meant for you when it's meant for you will happen will come in will be true don't worry about things like that and definitely do not give them power over your life or your decisions okay love Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll just and, give you the heads up. I have been working on this prior. So yes, and here's another I thing. On this prior. Here's another thing. Um, we we have so many angels watching out for us, and what I want to say is. If if it feels right, that is your intuition. That is your your guides. That is everything telling you. Just push forward. Don't um, okay. Don't don't hesitate because that 
like I said, other people are sending in their paperwork. Don't don't miss your shop, okay, love? Don't miss your shop. Okay. All right. Thank okay, so I can do it this week. It's not a problem. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have an amazing right. day. Thank you. All right. You're right. I just have to perfect it. So it's, I'm, I'm going to feel, I'm going to send it out whenever it feels good, okay? That's right. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you for calling in. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. The next caller is area code 908. 908, how can I help you today? Oh, hi, good afternoon, Tony. Um, my name is Caroline, and I would love to be, to contact with my dad in heaven. And I have a specific question, which is about, an, I'm working on an invention to help uh, children with autism. And I just would like to know what's my next step. <laughs> okay, so no can I please get your dad's first name? Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, I, I hope this is correct. The first word I hear is prototype. I don't know if you already, if you don't have a prototype, the next step is the prototype. And it doesn't have to be a working scale, large size prototype. Um, but if you do have the prototype, it means put the prototype in front of the right people okay um you're not going to go the conventional route with this which might be taking it hmm. i feel like okay so this is very exciting caroline thank you so much for calling in Ooh, i i'm i'm really liking this i feel like i feel like um you might work first it's going to be your your invention, no matter what. No one can take it from you. I feel like you might do kind of a, <clears throat> you might work with an autism group to get the yeah. feel, the, the, the like statistics, the, for lack of a better word, the statistics. And then from there, someone's going to literally, um, connect with you or contact you to bring it to market. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Oh. The first group or person that wants to take it to market, they might want too much. Now, don't, don't, uh, don't think this is going to be, Give away the show. don't think this is going to be your only offer. Don't think this, if you don't okay. do their terms, it won't work out. Don't feel like I have to do it their way. They know what they're talking about. There, if one person is approaching you and asking you, there will be other people that come forward and want to work with you also. And remember, when somebody um, approaches you just because you, they make you an offer, it doesn't mean you cannot negotiate back. Put your... I, I, this, this sounds, this sounds, put your, put your, pa put your big boy pants on and go to the table. Like you've got nothing to lose because otherwise you might be disappointed in the end for the numbers that you worked out. So make sure you're getting everything you want. And the last thing I'm getting on this is you need to make sure you have someone go over the small print because I feel like this first person that or group that comes forward, they make you an offer. And one set of numbers seems like, oh, they're going to take 20% and I'm going to get 80%. But uh, there's another part of that contract where they slip something in that says you get 80% after um, marketing and this and this and that which takes you down to like maybe 40 percent so make sure you have somebody oh. who's really good with contract law look this over with fine tooth comb and make recommendations and write your counter offer to them and that's exactly what you want to do and i hope who and your dad says, hello, hello from heaven. We, we, 
we love you and we are watching out and we oh. are guiding you. And remember, the first offer isn't always the best offer. It's just that it is sometimes that's the offer that gives us the knowing that something is is coming in and um, and will be that there will be more to follow. This isn't the only thing. It isn't the only one. It it's just the first one. Now, once you okay, so I thought I was going to be done, but apparently I'm not. So once you work with this organization with this product, um, make sure make sure you have your patent underway and it's trademarked and copywritten, whatever you need. Start working with this organization, and then um, I also feel like you are going to reach out to to you are going someone's going to reach out to you but you're also going to in the in the in the at maybe at the same time or simultaneously be reaching out to other people but i feel like there's going to be two serious contenders for your product and one of them is an educational supply an educational supply place i don't know if I don't know if it's an educational toys. I, I feel like part of, I feel uh, like in some way this might end up in an edu, is somehow, if this is not an, a, a, something that helps to educate, I feel like this will be something that's used to help. Somehow I'm getting education with this, whether it's like an educational toy store or educational uh whatever i feel like whatever you're working on there's going to be an aspect of this that helps to educate people and maybe that's um you working with the people your work the first group of people that you work with that that is going to um that is going to uh, uh, be like the 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 a study and those numbers are going to help you to promote and eventually sell the product. I hope that made sense to you because I don't want you to say what the product is. And I don't want to know because I kind of blurt things out. And I so I don't want to bust your product out. But but I feel like what what you're what they're saying to you should be relevant and you should have have some kind of grasp yeah. and say, yeah, that makes you know, that this is either going to make sense to you or it's not. I, I hope it did make sense to you. Oh, my gosh. I got the goosebumps. It does. <laughs> and I thank you. I my love that. And everybody in it. Oh, my gosh. The goosebumps, I love it. I, the goosebumps the are goosebumps. a solid confirmation <laughs> and a yes and for it you. Sense. It makes sense from the beginning. Already, the way, you know, working with the children first, it just makes me cry, you know. So okay. I, I just, you know, it's funny. I always want to make a difference, always. And it's to the children and women. Oh. So first is the children, and I'm going to focus on women. Oh, simultaneously. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I, oh, I, I want to tell you, this is not going to be your only product. This is your first product. This product is going to launch you into another product, whether that means that once you, you work with this product, then you get a you find an upgrade or um an upgrade or a you advance it or there's a whole nother product that comes in and i want to tell you i feel like your next product has something and for what it's worth love it has something to do with abuse um maybe helping abuse survivors or helping prevent something to do with abuse. Now I'm not going to go too deep into that because again, this is something that is going to be yep. yours and we don't want to put it out there for everyone to scoop up. So I'm just going to say whatever yep. this next product is, it's going to uh -huh. piggyback this product. Okay, love. Oh, thank you so much. You make me cry. I'm oh. so happy. I'm so thrilled. It's a, it's a magical year, so I could say. It's, it's a miracle. You know, I just I want to help people. Thank you so much. I oh. appreciate you so, so much. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so, I, I, I love my voice. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so happy to hear that. And I'm really grateful that I can help you and that um, it's, it's just an honor to help you connect to your dad and to bring you this information. Um, and, and please have no fear. They are, they, your, your, your ancestors and your angels are working with you and making sure this gets in front of the right people. And again, um, even though your intention is to help people, and that's always when we get the best ideas and the best information that comes through, that doesn't mean you, I don't want to say it that way. Um, yeah, well, like your dad is saying, that doesn't mean you take it in the butt. You be strong and you negotiate a good deal, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's uh, very hard to deal with people, you know. Um, I, I understand. I understand very well. It's Perfect. been very hard. But Perfect. I'm not I'm not that kind of a person anyway. I, over, I overlook small things and I well, look at the big picture. Okay, don't overlook anything small. If you're a big picture person, make sure you're getting this contract in front of people. Any agreements, any contracts, yeah. make sure you're getting them in front of people. Okay, Caroline? Beautiful. Thank you. I couldn't ask for anything better. Oh, and uh, maybe I will have a, a personal a personal with you as well. well. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for calling in. I cannot wait to hear so the much. rest of this. Um, keep Keep us posted on it, okay, love? I will. Thank you so much. You Bye are now. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to go directly to 415. 415, how are you today? Hi, Tony. This is Faith. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How can I help you I today? I would like to know... Thank you. I'd like to know what is blocking me from sending out resumes, and it's not Mercury. Mercury. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I am going to um, actually thank you because I feel like uh, we could all use a good clearing. So I'm going to say. Oh, you're clear. I get a no. And this is going to clear anyone uh, listening, watching, re-listening, watching. Um, and clear just means like, you know, that energy of procrastination, that energy of um, yeah. being unmotivated, um, being stuck. You're it's stuck. Like I get a yes. So something let's talk about exposed. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Um, I, it's something about showing myself to people. I don't know why that comes up. It's being afraid to um, show myself out there. Yeah, I I also get it's a competition thing. Um, you don't you don't feel like um, like you don't necessarily maybe you don't necessarily like to compete or feel like you're in competition with mm. people. Uh, so we're going to clear that also. I do get that you're very stuck. So we're going to clear that out there. Um, and I just want to give you a little different perspective from selling yourself or being competitive to um, you have yeah. something people need. So you have to, uh, you know, you have a, a, another way to, to look at it is there's a space for you or a destiny for you with whatever company or space you end up in. And there's a, a role you're going to fulfill there. You're going to bring help. So instead of looking at it as I'm selling myself, think of it as I'm fulfilling part of my, my soul's journey or part, and, and they need my help too. It's, it's a, a give and take. Like I'm going to be the perfect fit for the personalities there and the, um, and the company itself and the role I'm going to play there. I do feel like it is going to be a bit of a smaller company. It's not going to be a huge company. It's not going to be a big corporation. It's going to be a smaller company and it's going to be a really good fit. I feel like the people who are at this company might be a little bit more mature. Um, and, and I feel like it's going to be such a beautiful, beautiful fit for you with this company. So please embrace it and look at it like 
Um, this is this is what's meant to be. I'm I'm not uh, selling. I'm I'm joining. So I I do want to say that to you. And I'm gonna. Uh, we are clear. I get a yes. We are unclear. I get a no. Uh, we are stuck. I'm still getting a yes on stuck. So I'm gonna clear that. And this is for you, everybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching. Um, we're just going to make sure, you know, we're moving forward with everything this, this life and this world has to offer. And we are going to make sure that we are seizing every opportunity that comes to us. And I get a no on that. So let's clear that because that's really big because we can, we can be in an energy of fear. So we end up at a place that, um, is kind of filled with fear or fear fearful people, but when we're open to new opportunities and venturing out, we end up in that right place. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you, you know, we can be uh, looking for a position that's perfect for us, but because we're not feeling as strong or as good or as uh, whatever the word is that, that we are, we couldn't like totally miss that opportunity. And I'll, I'll explain it in the way of a relationship kind of, you can be, let's just say at an event and the perfect man for you could be right behind you. And you could even turn around and end up looking past this person because you're not ready for a commitment. You're not ready for a relationship. And you end up looking at somebody who is also not ready for a commitment or a relationship or filled with fear. It's the same thing with career opportunities. When we're in that position where we're not sure and we don't feel uh, secure enough or have enough self-esteem, which we're going to clear that now, um, <clears throat> and we, we, we will end up missing the perfect opportunity and going for the one that matches our our beliefs, our fears, and our energy. And we want to be with the one that matches our destiny. Oh, okay. That was quite a mouthful. Okay. So what I want to say is I'm going to clear for you, anybody looking, wanting a job, a career, um, if there, there's, uh, we're in alignment with our perfect position, I get a no um, the perfect position is open for us right now. I get a no. So we're going to clear these. And I feel like if you start sending, um, your resume out, you will hear something. Well, they're saying by the end of the month and it's, it's already pretty close to the end of the month. It's already the 27th. So get on it. Okay. I feel like wow, you should get on you. it right away and start sending things out. And I'm also hearing, don't undershoot, overshoot, which basically means don't go for the job you think you can get. Go also for the job you really want. Um, so uh, kind of pick jobs that overshoot what you want. There are, I'm going to tell you, employers really need people right now. There are a lot of people that are not working and a lot of people that um, that still, for whatever reason, have not gone back to work. So I feel like if you're willing to do the work, you will get a position. Um, so please, please, by all means, do that. Okay, love? Thank you. I'll keep I'll listen to that a couple of times. That's great. So many areas that you cleared. Thank you. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for calling in. I am almost at the 30 minute mark. So I want to thank everybody who watched on YouTube, everybody who watched on WSCS, who, who is watching through live stream or listening on a podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful that you made me a part of your day. Until next Monday, have an absolutely amazing rest of the week.